Hi everyone, so today I'm going to go through Oracle JD Edwards, the ERP application on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, if you are an existing JD Edwards customer, you can try the latest version 9.2 on Oracle Cloud. And so this is a predefined image on the Oracle Cloud Marketplace. So all you need is an Oracle Cloud account and you can use this image and you can see the images here and this will automatically deploy your ADF server, your deployment server and all the required JDE components. Uh, so if you are a JDE system admin, you will be used to this. So just navigating to the Oracle Cloud console here and as you can see, it's just taking us uh, some seconds to load. This is the Enterprise One Trial Edition image. So all you have to do is click launch this instance and I'm going to show you the tutorial that I was following. So you can see the version is 9.2.3 and just accept the terms of use here. So you will just burn down compute hours on your Oracle Cloud account. So I'm just gonna use one OCPU here uh, to for uh, just a trial run of JD Edwards on the Oracle Cloud. And uh, so I'm just gonna go through here the virtual machine setup. So I'm just gonna go one core with uh, 15 gigs of RAM. So as you can see from my previous videos, uh, I'm just gonna paste in my open SSH public key. So this will be used for when you want to configure the, the JD Edwards demo image, you will have to SSH to your machine. So I'm just gonna make sure you're working in, your, in the correct compartment. So I have uh, working in my compartment here, I'm just gonna navigate to uh, VCN that I have created. Uh, you can see all of this in my previous videos and uh, just going to choose the subnet as well where that is located so there is a couple of ports that you have to open here and um, jd edwards the console login will be port 8080 on uh, on the cloud so we're going to have to add that to our security list and so and we also have the internet gateway so that's already created so i just pause it there and let the image run up as uh, a boot up so that typically takes two minutes because it is um, uh, a pre-built image. So these are all the steps that I, that I went through to deploy this. So where we are actually now is performing the first time configuration. So there is a collection of bash scripts on your instance and you will have to execute one of these and it will basically kick off a bash process. And I'm gonna open up my terminal here and I'm actually going to go through the tutorial with you guys. Um, so I'm just going to SSH to the newly, provide, newly uh, provisioned instance on the cloud. So let me just take that public IP address and I'm just going to paste that into the console. And, and all these instructions are in the link provided below. And let me just click yes to confirm uh, connection to the, to the VM. So it's just your first, uh, just caching your SSH key. So the public IP, that, that's my VM public IP. You can also use... Um, you can use this public IP, but the default port is 8080, so I'm just going to leave that as standard. So I, I have a unique database password here, and you're going to have to do this for your database and JDE, and also one of your other components for this. Um, I'm just going to use the same password for everything. So you can navigate to your WebLogic and ADF server with the same password. So what I'm going to do here now is I've inserted all the credentials. So that is going to kick off a series of bash scripts and, and I'll show you where these are located. So if you navigate back to the tutorial, you will be able to see the script. And um, so let, I, I'm just gonna cut that out there now in a second. So apologies about that. So all the scripts will generate your BI publisher server, your ADF and a web logic and database. So I'm just in the VM scripts here. So let me just cut out with some of these scripts. So this is basically all the manual work that you would have to do on premise. Uh, so all we're doing is just deploying this on one core a virtual machine in the Oracle Cloud. In a real world um, application, you would do this across multiple virtual machines, a virtual machine for your web logic, one for your database, and another for your deployment server, and also your Windows server as well. So I'm just gonna add the ingress rule for port 8080 because I don't have that open up yet. So let me just add that to the cloud, to our cloud security list, and we should be able to navigate to our console once it's deployed. Okay, so and those changes are effective immediately. So what I have to do is just wait for the scripts to finish and my my JDE will be up and running. So as you can see, this should, I'm just going to navigate and just get some uh, information about my virtual machine. So all the ports for your ADF um, and your JDE console are, uh, sorry, the URLs are in this document, which I have linked underneath the video. 
And um, so if you navigate to that and in, uh, insert your public IP and also the default port that you that was asked of you at the very start of the of the script kickoff. So remember, I left it as default 8080. And if you don't have this um, uh, this rule in your security list, this will eventually time out. So you have to add it in your to, in your security list. Um, and also we can register a domain name. So instead of having the the IP address and the insecure uh, HTTPS uh, inviolable, we can add an SSL certificate to that as well. So what we actually have here is a fully running uh, JD demo install image of 9.2.3 of JD Edwards, and, and this is accessible through the cloud, and you can add users here. Uh, you can do everything that you can do with the original application, but this is just a taste to see how we how easy it is to get started with JD on the cloud. So this is just a single virtual machine. And here you can just see all the different features of JD Edwards, such as accounts payable and invoicing and um, site maintenance and all these other things that you are used to. So you can see all the pre-built dashboards here. So the, the demo image is populated with a number of pre-built uh, data and tables in the underlying database. And you can edit this, of course. So uh, just moving on to a uh, production JD Edwards. So what we saw there was a uh, just a trial image. So when we're looking at production, you would spread this across multiple availability domains uh, and regions, and be using um, remote sync for uh, data replication to a different region. And I'm actually just going in the next video. I will show you some of the Terraform scripts. So if you're not familiar with Terraform, Terraform is the underlying platform or tool to provision infrastructure as code on the Oracle Cloud Platform. So that is what we will use. And there is a number of scripts on GitHub. So I'm just editing one of the scripts here that I'll go through in the next video. So that's just to suit my own environment and my own desired end state. So you choose with JD Edwards how you want it spread across availability domains and that so I'm just going to stop the image now and that's just a basic tutorial and I hope you found it useful and any questions please feel free to reach out to me and thank you very much